Welcome into another edition of our Wildcat Weekly. I'm Jake Durant. We're moving from election races to long distance running races because I'm joined by Jenny Ryan, the head coach of the NMU uh, cross country team. Jenny, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So give me an update on your season. I know you're just getting off a the GLIAC championships. Prior to that, you had a, a nice tune up for the conference championships with a first place finish at the Bay College Invitational. You faced some adversity a little bit as well this season, but just talk about how your season's been going. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's been a, a solid season. Uh, yeah, we've had some great performances. I think, um, you know, our, our actually our number one runner is she ended up having a knee injury, so she's out for the year. Um, she will be able to get a medical hardship, so we'll have her for two more years, which will be great. Um, and so the rest of the team is fairly young. We do have one senior. But overall, so overall, that rest of that group has stepped up and we've really had a, you know, a solid season and had some good results and a lot of PRs and some of the kids that came back from the year before um, had some large PRs, so personal records. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so definitely uh, some, some great, a great season and uh, conference was solid, but now we're looking forward to regionals. At the GLIAC Championships, a seventh place finish. Gianna Hoving, she ran well for you, all GLIAC first team. Uh, top 10 finish for her. Talk about her performance. Yeah, I mean, that was just an awesome performance. You know, towards the beginning of the race, she was in about 35th, and then throughout the race, she just slowly moved up all the way into 10th spot, which the top 10 at the Gleex is, is really hard to, to, to get to that point. Um, you know, uh, Grand Valley is so strong, so six of their top athletes were in the top 10. So besides Grand Valley, there were only a few other athletes besides her. But yeah, that's just a great performance. She's led the team. She pulled them along and um, yeah, an awesome performance. And she's um, just a, a junior, so we still have her for one more year. So it just will be fun to see what she can continue to do. But amazing performance. And uh, yeah, and then the team, you know, we were seventh, but it was only 20 points between fourth and seventh, which is pretty close in cross country. Um, so we kind of came on the back end of that, but um, you know, a couple seconds here or there for a few of the runners, and and we would have been, uh, you know, farther up. So, so you're entering obviously the home stretch of your season, uh, Midwest Regionals, Romeoville, Illinois, coming up this Saturday, correct? Yep. Um, talk about what your expectations are. What have you been talking about with your team? Um, what do you hope to see out of your team in that that race? Yeah. Well, so. Um, you know that now the region is three conferences together, so it's to be the uh, three different conferences, which is it's like t 20, no 30, 30 teams, um, but each team can only run seven runners, so it'll be 30 teams. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know we're trying, we're hoping to move up within the conference of how we finished at the conference, uh, you know, because I think it was close, and and uh, so we're going to adjust how we approach the conference a little race a little bit, and I think we can move up even farther in the region, and then against the other two conferences. Will be excited to see what we, just what we can do as a, as a young team. You were able to go to this and have a strong finish. You talk about it being a young team and just gaining that confidence. Have you seen that confidence grow uh, throughout the season with some of these younger runners? Yeah, for sure. And the team has just really, you know, kind of gelled. Really, a great culture and. Yeah, they definitely have moved up, so that's what makes it exciting for the years ahead. Because I think they've learned a lot. They've, you know, they, some of them have had to step up in that lead role. So it'll just be really exciting to see what we can do this time, but then the years to come. All right, Jenny. Well, thank you so much for your time. Obviously, good luck this weekend, and then moving forward as well. Hoping uh, you guys can finish out your season strong, and then obviously get momentum heading into next year. All right. Thank you.